All right, mud lovers, how you doing? I'm out here in the wilderness, and behind me, just getting going, are Alex and Adam, also mudlarkers as well. So I'm gonna run over and join them, get some luck in the muck. So we've had them. Hello. We did some mudlarking today. So what do you reckon we'll find, Ad? Hopefully a pipe. A pipe would be good, wouldn't it? He, he did find a pretty cool pipe here before. So, well, let's hang around. Let's get some luck in the map. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's dangerous, this mudlarking. So I've got my duck feet on today. So that'll stop me sinking in the mud and keeping up with Adam. <laughs> Adam only weighs about three stones, so he literally floats. Unlike Alex and me, and there he is, Alex, with a fine choice of bonnet. Well, my bag just flew away. Uh, I've got a little plastic bag for fines and that. And it flew out my bag and ran away, and I was chasing after it. And as soon as I picked it up, I looked down, and I saw this. And there's the bag in question. And it stopped just here, by this bottle. Yeah, it looks all, it looks all complete and intact. Complete with sea life. No writing on it, but that's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Well done. Ah, beautiful that is. That's a uh, Victorian pipe. My first ever pipe. Is he first ever pipe? Yeah, my first ever Oh man, well, congratulations. Oh. Woohoo! And I like to see that you've got yourself a spud. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just uh, you, you served him his eviction notice, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> so show me your uh, scraper. Is that a masher in your hand, in your right yeah, hand? It's a masher. I just stole it from the kitchen. You stole it from the kitchen? Yeah, I can't find the shovel anyway. <laughs> just steal the masher. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. If you, if you don't if you don't have a scraper, just steal any random kitchen implement. Yeah. Next week it'll be the blender. <laughs> well done, man. Awesome, lovely. Yeah, complete and beautiful. Congratulations. Awesome. What well up, mate? Look at that happy little face. Lovely jabby. Yeah, well, let's see if there's any more, shall we? Yeah. Oh, is that why you're being just generous with me? My bucket keeps flying away from me. He reckons if I just carry that for him, Don't then I won't nick it. Go on in, put it in my bucket. Favourite actually, it's not too from blowing away. Any good? Like a wine bottle. Get out of there just in case it's an old one, but it doesn't feel like it really. Oh, it's on right on it. Scottish, Scottish whiskey. Black, black and white. The story goes that the whiskey baron, James Buchanan, picked a black Scotty dog and a white Westie it's a West Highland Terrier, as brand mascots after visiting a dog show. The pair of lovable pooches were widely used in advertising before they appeared on the label of the best-selling black and white whiskey, which is a light, simple, grain-forward whiskey with a clean citrus edge. And it's still made today. Wouldn't mind giving that a try.
Well, there we go. He's finally stuck. It happens in every adventure we have. Alex is stuck in the mud. All hands on deck while Simon rescues Alex. There we go. Lovely jabbly. <laughs> Fantastic. Here's a little bottle. Well, a big bottle actually. Ugh. Oh, cool. Nice writing on the bottom. Ooh, that's a nice one. Cool. I wasn't expecting that. That's unusual. What does it say on there? Well, this is an old gin bottle, but I can't quite read what it says on the bottom. Oh, bitter. Maybe it's a what? Maybe it's a bitter then. Bitter, bitter something. I'll have to clean it up in a minute and see what it says. It's a nice one, though. Look at that. Beautiful black, beautiful green glass. Yeah, beautiful, nice one. Hey, hey, that's an applied lip, so that's an early one. I like that. That's really cool. That looked great in the cabinet. Oh, well, happy with that. That's earlier than I think. I think it might be like 18, 1870s, something like that. Might be foreign. Saxel, Saxel Mina, Saxelina, something like that. Can't quite read the bottom. Yeah, it looks like a Sephora one. There we go. The mud is quite handy for holding the bottles when you clean them, look. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Saxel... Saxel Hina... Bitter... Bitter Quill. I don't know, I'm guessing it might be German or Dutch. Oh, I love it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful green, dark green bottle. Maybe that. What a stunning dark green bottle. Stick around to the end of the video where I'll be taking another bottle that I found and creating some awesome artwork with it. The brand, called Hanyadi Janos, after a medieval hero, was marketed by Andreas Saxliner of Budapest as an aperient water, recommended for combating constipation. The spring was near Budapest and according to the 1913 manual Natural Therapy, it was claimed that the water has marked Sholagog properties and so tends to prevent fermentative change in the intestinal canal and to relieve the discomfort due to flatulence. Which is probably a load of hot air, but um, they did shift a few, so maybe it did work. All right, Adam, coming over. Hey. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I found a nice green bottle. I won't, don't bother coming over, but I just want to let you know, I found a nice, uh, Applied lip it looks a bit like a a big gin bottle, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, we have a little bottle here. I thought it was just gonna be a little sauce, put some writing on it, which we love. What do you say? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. It might be just a. I don't recognise that. Oh, it's another. It's another foreign one. Look. Let's see if we can read it. Vin. Vin D. D U S A R T. Dusar. P A R. Paris. Oh, that's an interesting one. Oh man, look at the colours in there. I'll have to do evict the uh, little snail in there before he goes home. It's a nice bottle though, nice shape, nice coloured glass. It would appear this wine was by a person by the name of Dussard. I can't find any information on this person, but I did find an artist by the same name who by coincidence paints people drinking and making wine. If you have any information about this bottle or the maker, please leave it in the comments below. See what that kicking off move. Well, Adam's finding uh, little ink wells and uh, little pipes. I'm finding all the huge bottles. I'm just looking at him over there. I think he's found something else. We'll go and meet up with him in a sec. But first, take a look at this jumbo bottle. Oh, oh flipping heck! Blimey, that's the biggest sauce bottle I've ever found. 
flag sauce. Wow, what a beaut. This bottle contained about a pint of brown sauce, which for friends watching outside of Britain is a fruity, spicy, savoury sauce. There's a never ending debate in Britain, which is which goes best in a sausage sandwich, brown sauce or tomato ketchup? What do you prefer? Oh, I gotta say I'm a tomato ketchup fan. Let me know in the comments below and I hope this doesn't flag up an argument. <laughs> Nicer distance. Oh, that's a stunner, isn't it? I haven't checked it in its quite anyone in here. Wow, look at the colours on that. It's nice. You're not going to take that. I suppose once you clean it out. Yeah, I won't take that. You might lose it. It's nice. That's lovely, man. We well, can always leave it here and if you change your mind, yeah. you know it is. Stick it right, just stick it upside down in the mud. Yeah. That's nice right. <laughs> well, I've got five things I can see in, 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 in earshot, if you like, around here. First one is this lovely little bowl. Oh, it's a teacup. Oh, it's got some writing on it. Oh, it's a bit faded. It's pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Alright, there's that. So, there's that one. Oh, Alex is there. Hey, hey. Good news. This one is a little medicine bottle. Which we like. Sorry, I didn't see you. This will be plucked out of the mud then. I'm just too excited. So, there's that one. We'll bung that there. There's also an interesting little bo bottle over here, which might be a firework. Oh no, it's not, it is a bottle. It's, that's unusual. And this little bowl here. Oh, cute. Or is it broken? Or is it a base? Yeah, that may not be worth keeping. It's pretty cool, but. I think it's broken. It's just had a perfect smash on that. What did I say? Five? There was something else. I can't remember what it was. Is this it? One, two, three, maybe four things then. Oh no, the other one was this. That's an interesting little piece of glass. Look at the colour on that. A little vase or something, a little flute. So I, just, so I just swilled this out in this little creek here and it looks like it says something calf. So that's quite cool. Be able to do a bit of research on that. After I cleaned this cup, the light caught it and I could see some words becoming apparent. It reads Royal Adelaide Gallery Grand Calf with ANS Gatti in the center. Now in 1839, the Adelaide Gallery was home to the National Gallery of Practical Science, blending instruction with amusement. In other words, an old fashioned kind of freak show, but under the guise of science. Now here's a poster advertising a conjoined twin and another for an act by General Tom Thumb, who performed with great success at the gallery. I often say if only the object could speak, and I'm sure this humble little teacup has overheard many stories of weird things witnessed at the gallery. Well, Adam's been out and about, found a good few things, but first, he's found a baity for me to cut down. But you cut them down now as well, didn't you? Yeah, but you can't though. Oh, he's, such a, a he's such a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. That's awesome. Let's well. yeah. have a look. Let's get, some, get some of that mud off. That's an awesome little find. Western end. That's an early one, that is, because it's, uh, it? it's embossed. Yeah. British table salts. That's a. Coming down right now. There's nothing here. It's a <laughs> Table Salt London. That is probably find of the day, I reckon. reckon? Yeah. And he's also found this Blackfriars Road. Oh, this should, should I scrape the barnacles off? And then also two pork pies. Two pork pies. It's not even lunchtime yet. There's <laughs> loads of um, um, stonewares around here. Oh yeah, well oh. that's good. And I found. 
Oh, the old inky. Yeah. Master Inkwell. That's well, well done, man. And um, really nice <coughs> ink. Oh yeah, a little uh, little glass hexagonal. Lovely. Yeah, I oh, do very well, man. Very, very well. This is a beautiful find as well. Powell, probably a little chemist or something. Yeah. And Blackfriars, we know, is in London. Well done. Well, Adam gave me the, the uh, little ginger, so I'm going to return the favour and give him this pipe. Uh, I'll pluck it from the mud. Look at that. Oh, that's a beauty. So there you go, man. Thank you, Simon. Where is it for you? Look at that. Well, Adam is getting some serious luck in the muck. There's things everywhere, I can't believe it. <laughs> See that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And it's a pipe. Brilliant. That is a, what would you say, a bubble child pipe or something? It could well be. It's got a face on it. It could be a little bubble pipe. Oh, man, that's epic. <laughs> Oh, wicked man, that's awesome. Fantastic. That's a great little find. Probably. Do you know what? It looks like a Turk's head. Does it? Possibly a Turk's head one. Yeah, yeah they're really cool. Fantastic. It's probably We're... the smallest one I've ever found. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what well a mate. Happy days, eh? Lovely. <laughs> oh, what a heartbreaker. Broken torpedo, but it's got a writing on anyway, so no, no great shakes. Oh, nice little bottle there. Nice little Victorian one. Heading on it. Oh, yeah. Nubion. Nubian. I've found one of these before. I can't remember what it is. I'll have to look at the old videos and <laughs> check it out. I'll let you know though. Nice little bottle. Nubian is a blacking solution. Now blacking jars are usually stoneware, but this one is made from glass in a stunning ocean blue. Not that you'd have appreciated the colour because blacking solution was black. And it was used in Victorian times to treat leather, such as shoes, bags and clothing, etc. To keep it in tip top condition. Look down, look down, look down on my feet. Look at that beauty. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm hoping hope it's complete. It looks all out. What do you reckon, Alex? Good one, eh? There we go, look. Oh, man, look. Let's see if we can get the. Uh, the sun oh. just says. Oh, something like. Other, oh, something water. Looks like a good one. <laughs> wow! Oh, look at that beauty. Fantastic! Oh man, I'm chuffed up. I, don't know, I can't remember the last time I found a torpedo bottle. Don't you have many? Not really. No, they're rare. Well, for me, they are. I <laughs> find them a lot, but it says Islington. Lovely. Yeah. London, yeah, London's at the bottom. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> Imagine if loads of mud water comes out. <laughs> you got to do it, man. When you've got a good fight, you've got to take the risk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Ooh. laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> oh, man, chuff the bits. Look at that beauty. That is fantastic. Well, we've had a broken one, now we've had a full one, so. Yeah, what a day. What a, what a way to end it, I think. Although there's still time. Still time. Yeah. Still time comes in, so. Yeah, we'll see what else we can find, but that's a cracker. Lovely. Happy days, man. Happy days. Luck in the muck, here we go. And he's stuck. <laughs> yeah. What excitement, you oh, son. Oh dear. The sublime embossing reads Webb's Double Soda and Other Waters, Majesty, Islington, London. This delightful torpedo bottle was designed by William Hamilton in 1814 and was intended to be laid flat so that the cork wouldn't dry out and cause the carbonated drink to go flat. What a great idea. Now check out this beautiful enamel sign owned by John Alt. Thanks for sharing, John. What a glorious product it must have been back in the day. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Thank you.
where I'll buy this old boat here, I just found a nice old pulley. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Something different from a bottle. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll take that though because it's just split and what do you do with it? I think I'll leave it here just with the boat. If someone else wants it. They may find it in, in the future. But that's a nice hard bit of wood. Make a nice coaster, I suppose. But you do have to spend ages preserving these because they'll just split. So maybe leave it. I know where it is if I ever change my mind. Well, talking of rigging, this is what's known as a dead eye. Basically a pulley. And uh, this is slightly different to the other ones, but the other ones are quite cool because they do have three sockets in and it's like a dead eye, a dead man's skull basically. But this is a slightly different variety, but still a cool find. Again, not one I'm gonna take home because the wood will split and yeah, it's already sort of coming apart a bit anyway there. So uh, I'll leave that, let the uh, river, river take it back. Someone might find it in a few years time. Uh, yeah, they're nice. Never found a full dead eye before, but it's definitely on my wish list. Maybe one day. Well, just found this bottle and uh, it's got a name on it, look, Fulham Road. Oh, wow, it's a little chemist. Unfortunately, the neck's been nibbled, but so I give us a chance to look up Mr. E. Anstey. What does it say? Anstey's getting antsy. Anstey Turner, maybe? Yeah, these barnacles do like to uh, cling on for dear life, don't we, wouldn't you? Oh, look at that. Well, it says E and D Turner, 200 and something Fulham Road, South West London, 280. Oh, brilliant. I don't care about the damage because you've got a lovely name on there. Might be able to find a donor stick on there perhaps nice one happy days this lovely chemist bottle would have contained some cure or another and the e stands for edward and i found an advert from a 1915 newspaper advertising for an errand boy when they had moved down the road to number 100. You stop getting stuck, Alex. Blimey, you're a nightmare. Ta da! Oh, look there. The sky is in its natural habitat. Oh no! Oh my god, look at this sign. Wow. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Jay Vaughan. Yeah, they were Potter. Lovely. It doesn't uh, say Simon Bourne, does it? <laughs> no, Jay Bourne. No relation. Oh, this is like a good one. Let's pluck it out and see what she's got. Oh, oh do you know what? That's a beautiful little blob top. Got a blob top, eh? Yeah. Oh, man, Camberwell. I'm having the best day ever. So it says Baney Road, Albany Road. Oh, white. Oh, it's an early R white one. Look at that. I don't think I can fit any more in my bucket. Yeah. Oh, R white. Yeah. That's nice. Let me give it a wash. <laughs> don't run off with it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to say Al Albany Road. Albany. Yeah. Lovely find. Oh, cheers, dude. Hey! You just waiting for me to get a mouthful of mud, weren't you?
Well, I can't believe what a great day we're having. Find another bottle, come and take a look. Almost past that one. Overflowing. Well, we've had a great old day looking around these shoe regs. We've found some amazing things. I think this is probably one of the best days mudlarking I've had bottle wise in a long, long time. So, shout out to Adam, he's done fantastically finding this spot for us. And you know what? Go and check out his channel because he finds some awesome stuff as well. So thanks for watching my lovers. Let's do a little clean up see what we found. Well, here we have a uh, bottle that we found. Um, we took it because all the beautiful barnacles there, and I've added some varnish to stabilize those. They're not gonna come off. And look, there's some beautiful pieces of iridescence as well on that side. So uh, I plan to do a little doodle on it to really make this thing a bit of interesting art. Got myself some Sharpie pens silver and gold and bronze so uh, yeah let's have a little doodle it's been a while since i've done some art let's have a go Oh, I nearly forgot to drink my tea.
well here is the finished piece yeah I haven't done a doodle for a while I'm really happy how it turned out actually um, I used the um, iridescence there uh, to my advantage to use it as part of the skull and part of the tentacles on the octopus and also in the little bottle there when it's wrapped around it uh, with the uh, with the tentacle yeah I think it's um, I'm really pleased with it managed to get my old ship in there as well um, a uh, ship in the storm with the anchor at the bottom keeping that sturdy as well but yes yeah, so I'm really happy with this guys but um, I want to share it with you so uh, if you feel like you want to own it you can pick this beautiful Victorian bottle upcycled by me made into a piece of art if it's um, to your taste <laughs> and uh, yeah go onto my eBid page and uh, have a cheeky bid link will be in the description below Hello, what do you think? Don't shake your head. A little sip. Want a sip? <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> if you want a cheeky beard, go onto my eBay page. Hello. <laughs> You're not for sale. But this is. So crack on over to my eBay page and uh, you'll see there. Um, how you can bid for it and uh, yeah good luck hopefully it'll be winging its way to you soon if you'd like to be in with the chance of winning 250 pounds worth of metal detecting vouchers from lp metal detecting then click this video for all the details there's still time to enter so why not get those christmas presents sorted early this year <laughs> thanks for watching my lovers and i'll see you on the next mud adventure